Good morning, I am Dr. Sam B. Abraham, Director of Airborne Security and Guidance Center, Chennai. The commonest problem faced by an adolescent girl is regarding the problem with her menses. So, a, a, a girl should attain menses by 11 to 13 years. There may be slight variation, but if she gets uh, these changes by 8 as early as it has to be investigated, or if she is not getting periods by 14, it has to be investigated. So what are the things to be investigated? You have to study about her uterus, her ovary, as you see the number of follicles in the ovary, her condition of the uterus has to be evaluated. Now, as we know, in this age what is happening, the hormones from the pituitary comes, uh, hormone from the hypothalamus comes, it acts on the pituitary to release FSH LH, and this induces the development of the follicle. As a result, the follicle develops and the follicle ruptures release there. And every month, two hormones are produced from the ovary. One is estrogen, and the other is progesterone. These hormones act cyclically on the uterine lining to produce bleeding. So, once there is a problem with menses, we have to understand that there is a problem with the hormone, there is a problem, or can be a problem with the uterus. So, we have to find out the cause. And we have to be very careful about their habits, how she is maintaining her weight, about their exercise that has to be looked upon. I know that parents are too apprehensive about their educational status. They don't care too much about their physical condition. They have to get involved in extra uh, curricular activities. That's very, very important. Then only they will be able to build a healthy life. Now we have to tell the, the children about the need for a good education, about the need for a uh, good future. At the same time, we have to give them a very clear cut concern about a good family life. We have to understand the fact that the children are learning from you. Suppose your family condition is not good, naturally they also get, it, it, it is going to affect them also. So we have to give them the concept of marriage early, child, uh, uh, child conception early, all these things are very important. It has to be, you have to quote them with examples. You know? In this age they always look for examples. Now we have to tell them that uh, Suppose uh, the problems faced by others when they got late marriage or when they delayed child birth, all has to be told up to them. And then only they become successful in life. Education is not the sole thing. No? So, what I mean to say is that in an adolescent girl, you should very carefully look for their menstrual history, about their whether they are getting any infections there, any abnormal discharge from the vagina has to be looked upon. And uh, if they are having problems for like pain in the uh, abdomen or lower pelvis at the time of periods, it has to be it has to be anchored upon. As uh, scanning will always help to find out other causes like ovarian cyst or any other problems. We have to understand that these problems can occur in the uh, in this age group also. So what I mean to say is that both the uh, the girl and the mother has to have a very clear cut concept about their menstrual cycles, the regularity of the periods, and if there is any abnormality, it has to be looked upon and has to be treated. Thank you.